Hello and welcome to today's February 9th daily news report as well as ongoing stimulus package information video. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. On this channel, I keep you in the loop on what's really going on in Washington, D.C. with President Biden, the Build Back Better stimulus package, U.S. economy, money, investing, and much, much more. All right, don't forget to get your name added to be one of the winners of the giveaway Casey and I are doing, thanks to amazing video sponsors, and I'll make sure to leave a link below. Also, I just want to say thank you guys so much for giving these videos a like. It's hours and hours of research to bring you a video to keep you in the loop, and I just love bringing you guys the news. Okay, uh, I want to share some news that is getting significant pushback and mockery online. The White House announced they will spend $30 million of taxpayer money to buy crack pipes and other drug-related paraphernalia as part of the White House's har uh, harm reduction program to fight racial inequality. Uh, the program will also provide vending machines with free drug needles, safe sex kits, and more in addition to the free crack pipes. Um, now, I have no idea how this uh, helps uh, racial equality, but this is a big trending story and I thought you should be aware of it. The White House and CDC seem to be sharing a very different message than local government. The White House says they will follow the science and ask that everyone continue to wear masks. However, many governors, including five Democrat governors, are saying just the opposite and are dropping mask mandates. Some Republican lawmakers have said this is a trick to look like you're getting freedoms back just before the midterm election. Governor Ron DeSantis said the science didn't change, politics did. However, the governor of New Jersey himself, a Democrat, said he just can't see the justification for masking people anymore. Even Biden's home state of Delaware announced they are done with masks. And Oregon, who just a few months ago tried to pass a law to make masks permanent, said masks save lives, but we're dropping masks. Last night, the White House announced Biden was never in favor of lockdowns, and I'm not sure why they're doing a 180-degree turn now that lockdowns and mask day, uh, mandates are ending, but they say he has always been against the lockdowns. Now, I want to share some potentially good news with you. Democrat Senator Mark Kelly and Maggie Hassan are calling on Congress and the White House to temporarily suspend the federal gas tax nationwide until 2023. They say this will give immediate relief to hundreds of millions of Americans and businesses, and it can provide relief quickly. I'll continue to monitor this story. This could be a huge pre-midterm election move uh, that would benefit large numbers of Americans. Uh, so I hope that it or something like it will pass because the price of gas has been negatively affecting just about everybody. President Biden is making a major reversal. He said in an interview, it's time to stop acting like a senator president and to start acting like a president of the United States of America. He said from now on, he will be president and allow Congress to be Congress. He's meddled too much in Congress. So he's hitting the reset button and starting over, according to his own words. He recommended Vice President Kamala Harris do the same and that she get new staff to support her in a new year and with a new reset, even though she's getting new staff anyway, as she's had many walk away from her office. So perhaps there is a great reset about to happen, and we will see two totally different leaders, as President Biden has expressed. Another big development in Washington, D.C., according to Republican Senator Richard Shelby, who sits on the Appropriations Committee, Democrats and Republicans have crafted a framework to avoid a government shutdown. They found a way for both parties to agree to a new 90-day omnibus bill to avoid a shutdown on February 18th. The committee said this is a bipartisan breakthrough that will save the country from running out of money or shutting down. 
We still need to see something in writing and the bill must be voted on, but I wanted to share this big news with you, this uh, breakthrough news according to the bipartisan group of senators. Regarding the Build Back Better stimulus bill, Democrat lawmakers are saying they need to morph the bill with the midterm elections in mind. Now, it's not clear if they meant what might sound good to talk about to voters or what they might actually be able to pass before their attention is shifted fully towards the election, but I'm guessing it's a little bit of both. Right now, millions of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, and high inflation hasn't made getting through the past two years any easier. So a bill needs to be crafted to help those most in need. That's the talking point, in my opinion. Who are those most in need and how do we get that help to them? I'm guessing the child tax credit monthly checks will be a big talking point as well. We saw the White House recently dropped free community college. However, we don't know what else they might drop. Um, some are for free pre-kindergarten, while others are saying reducing the cost of child care uh, would provide a much bigger bang for your buck. Manchin and Sanders want to uh, seriously reintroduce measures to tax the wealthy in order to bolster social safety net programs. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said she sees the value in not allowing members of Congress to trade individual stocks with insider information. Today, she has asked House Democrats to draft a bill that would block members of Congress and their top staffers with inside information from trading individual stocks. Upwards of 50 members of Congress have been caught trading stocks without reporting it or having been linked to stocks that did very well only to have it revealed that, they, uh, that their committee assignments gave them privilege uh, to, uh, excuse me, gave them access to privileged information. 76% of Americans say politicians buying stocks with inside information is wrong and gives them an unfair advantage. More will come out on this story, but uh, for right now, it looks like the days of becoming a millionaire while being a U.S. politician just took a major U-turn. Boom. Well, Canadian truckers seem to be winning. Several areas of Canada announced they will be dropping COVID mandates, making vaccine requirement changes, and getting rid of vaccine passports. However, the mayor of Ottawa has declared a state of emergency and called this peaceful protest a nationwide insurrection, and the truckers need to be dealt with. So uh, some members of the city council are even trying to rebrand the truckers and protesters as terrorists, even though things have remained uh, relatively peaceful. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau continues to call the truckers and protesters racists. He even accused them of waving swastika flags and behaving like Nazis. Now, there was one flag with a swastika, but it was removed almost immediately. In the meantime, there have been thousands and thousands of Canadian flags being flown in support of the people and the country. The head of the largest trucker association said, it's time for Justin Trudeau to give. 90% of truckers are vaccinated. It's time to move on and get trucks moving again. Right now, the bridge between Canada and Michigan is totally blocked. Hundreds of Canadians are pouring into the city with red gas cans uh, full of fuel to provide help to the truckers. This story remains ongoing. Now, this is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely come on and share more with you. Before you go, make sure to get your name added to be one of the winners of the giveaway that Casey and I are doing in the month of February. There's a lot going on. Stimulus talks are, are going on. Uh, people are finally getting creative. Hey, could we help everyone at the gas pump right now by getting rid of the federal tax? Uh, which programs deserve our attention and which ones should be dropped? And I'm going to be here all week long to keep you on the in the loop on what's really going on. Now, before you go, come here. I want to remind you, you are amazing. I appreciate you being in my community and I'll see you on the next video.